All right, welcome back. Welcome to this Ball Court film for this absolutely beautiful 2021 Mazda CX-30. Uh, this is the Sport Lux model, uh, very, very high specification. Uh, first one of these that we've had in, and I'm really, really impressed with the uh, with all the options and uh, features that this particular car has. Uh, the car itself has had one owner from new with full Mazda service history all the way through. Um, absolutely beautifully well cared for. Only done just over 9,000 miles. But a lot can happen within that time and, uh, and actually the previous owner has really, really looked after it absolutely beautifully. There is not a mark on the car at all. It is absolutely fantastic. It's almost as close to, to new condition as you can possibly get. Each of the alloy wheels are completely unmarked. As you can see, things like the side mirror housing and everything like that, there's not a chip, not a scratch, not a mark uh, anywhere over the car at all. It really is in absolutely fabulous condition all the way around really good looking car this as well actually for the sort of baby SUV um, on the outsides we've got things like the um, darkened privacy glass from the B pillar all the way to the back including the rear window obviously as I mentioned these um, sport alloy wheels uh, all uh, looking absolutely beautiful uh, and uh, just the sort of chunky kind of SUV look to the car as well love all the chrome detailing at the front a really, really good looking car. I'm sure you'll be quite impressed when we look on the inside and just see all of the different features that, the partic that this particular car has got. In terms of the external specification, we've got these LED headlights here at the front uh, and the integrated daytime running lights down there in the bumper. Uh, all look very, very nice indeed. Uh, power folding door mirrors. Mentioned the privacy glass already. Uh, we've also got a uh, electric tailgate as well. Um, so that just pops up straight from here. You can activate that from the key or from the soft touch button on the back. Uh, the boot area, again, all absolutely beautifully um, cared for with a, a genuine rubber mat in the back there to protect everything. And then if we pop the back there, you've got additional storage down there at the back along with all of your toolkit and uh, flat tire repair kit and all that kind of stuff as well. It's a 60-40 um, split rear seat as well, so you can obviously fold those down. And then on the back here, we've got two buttons. Uh, this particular car has got keyless entry with it as well. Um, so you've got two options here. You can either just close the boot um, or you can close the boot and lock it at the same time so that, so that the whole car will, uh, will lock at the same point. And that comes down from there. The way that the keyless entry system works, you've basically got this sort of soft touch button down there um, which you can use to lock the car uh, and you'll see the mirrors folding in just to sort of show you that you've locked it um, or, and then to get back into the car you just put your hand on the door handle and that will unlock as you'll see from there. Through to the back, decent amount of space, got a drop down cup holder and rear armrest in the back there as well. All very, very nicely finished. You've obviously got Isofix child seat preparation points, something like that in the back. And then you've also got um, fans in the back as well, which is quite nice as well. So it just helps with the cooling all the way throughout the car. But again, all lovely. I don't think the back seats have really ever been sat in. There's certainly no kick marks or anything like that um, on the backs of there. And again, all the door cards and everything like that in perfect condition as well. Through to the front, some really nice sort of design style bits and you've got all the um, this stitching that goes that continues across here at certain parts of the dashboard continues across the top there with a sort of leather feel to it um, so all very very nice um, controls here for your electric windows your mirrors and the power folding mirrors as well but again all very elegantly designed and then got a lovely kind of reminds me of the um, MX-5 steering wheel uh, that you had in this from the little sports car. So um, that's got all of your uh, cruise control. This has actually got adaptive cruise control as well. So it follows the car in front and um, keeps the, the distance there. Um, and so it's like the radar guided one. And then all the buttons there for your media settings and everything like that as well. But absolutely wonderful, as you'd expect for the mileage and just the overall way that the car's been kept. There's uh, no wear to the to the seat or anything like that at all. All very, very nice. And then if we jump in, you've got a sort of digital centerpiece here for the um, for the dashboard. So everything is got an LCD screen on it, as you see from there, with all the information. Just start the car. Again, because it's the keyless entry system, you just have the key in your pocket and you just press the start stop button there as well. Down to the middle. Again, all the controls for the media system. This is absolutely packed with stuff on here, actually. You've got things like Apple CarPlay um, and uh, Android Auto. You've also got built-in navigation as well uh, that we can see here. But again, a lot of people can 
prefer to use their sort of um, their personal mapping things, things like Waze or Google Maps or Apple Maps, uh, Apple Maps even um, on their uh, through their phone. So obviously that, that can all connect through there. But you've also got things like Bluetooth media streaming, uh, DAB digital radio, as well as FM and AM, um, and uh, and all sorts of things as well that you would expect. Uh, we've also got a reverse camera on the car, so pop that in there. Really nice high definition camera with the guidance lines and everything like that. Down to the main section here three stage heated seats for front uh, occupants and then also dual zone climate control as well so uh, passenger side and then driver's side but just such a lovely fit and finish to the cabin really really nice everything feels quite premium and expensive decent sized glove box and some really really nice design touches and things like that here as well so you'll see the mileage today 9354 uh, we've also got, got automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers and then also I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this through the camera we've also got head-up display as well which is um, a really nice feature so when you move the car forwards and backwards or, or forwards mainly but um, you've obviously got your uh, speed that will update there I and mean, it'll also show things like your satellite navigation instructions uh, and then also next to the um, to the speedo is actually the uh, the current speed limit for wherever you are as well um, so it's quite handy to have those two next to each other um, but yeah a really really nice feature and then in the uh, mirror over there as well a little bit difficult to see you might just see the uh, triangle in the top right hand corner but that's basically a uh, lane departure warning system so if you have a car that comes up in your blind spot it'll flash um, if you uh, if you try and uh, try and uh, change lanes so it just warns you that that's there and then the multi-function display in the middle here you've got all of your different settings up on here as well so it's really really beautifully finished I hope you found this short video useful it really is a, an extremely impressive car a lovely size lovely to drive um, and, and like I said, absolutely packed with features on the inside as well. Really one of the highest specification small cars that we've seen in quite some time. Um, if we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures, uh, we can, we've got some excellent PCP rates for this car, um, then uh, please do get in contact with us through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. we more than happy to help, and obviously we'd love to be able to show you the car in person uh, and help with any other questions that you may have. Thanks very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.